Hey guys, sorry I haven't been on for a while. I've been really busy with college, but recently I've made enamel pins, and today I'm gonna show you how I made them. Side note, I don't actually manufacture the pins. I design them, then I communicate with a factory overseas to make them, which takes a lot less time and money than making the pins one by one. This is actually how most artists who sell pins make them. A caveat is that most factories deliver the goods in bulk, so you can't just order one or two pins. You usually need to order at least 100. The first step is to design our pins. I use Photoshop CC 2017 and a Huon tablet, but some other good tools are Procreate for the iPad and GIMP or Paint Tool Sci. Heck, you can even use MS Paint. First, I'll open up a canvas with 300 dpi as the resolution. Before I create, I need to consider what size I want my pins to be. Pins can be from half inch to three inches. What kind of plating I want. Do I want it to be gold, silver, copper, rose gold? Whether I want my pin to be soft enamel or hard enamel. Soft enamel is cheaper and allows more detail, but hard enamel gives you that smooth polished look. And whether or not I want backing cards. While I create the design, I need to keep in mind that the design shouldn't be too complex so that the factory can't make it. And the design should have no shading. Lastly, it should only have Pantone colors because enamel pins can only be created from colors from the Pantone color chart. After I create my design, I need to go on and decide the specs. Fresh fun fact, my dudes. Depending on what factory you decide to work with, you can customize the smallest details of your pin. For example, you can decide whether or not your pin wants chains, whether it has transparent enamel, whether it has glitter. You can even customize the clutch. Do you want a rubber clutch, a butterfly clutch, a deluxe clutch, a magnet one? You can decide whether you want something on the back. Do you want to engrave your logo or another kind of message, perhaps? You can decide what kind of packing you want. For me, I just had backing cards in a plastic bag, but you could also choose to have a bubble bag or a plastic box, etc. Lastly, you need to find a factory. Pins can be made using middlemen or Alibaba. Middlemen are trustworthy, but they're expensive. Some middlemen include Made by Cooper, Pin Game Strong, Pin Pro Plus. Alibaba is a site to find and communicate with factories in China, India, etc. directly, whereas middlemen communicate with factories for you, which is why they cost more. Although Alibaba is less expensive, for example, each of my pins cost a banging $2, whereas a middleman would charge me at least 4 It's more likely you'll get scammed on Alibaba. To make sure that I didn't get scammed on Alibaba, I made sure to follow several things. After I searched for what I wanted on Alibaba, in my case, Nail Pin Factory, I made sure to check trade assurance and verified supplier. And I looked at how long they've been in the business. Usually if they've been in 3 years and up, that's pretty good. I looked at their average rating and reviews. Looked at their transactions. Have they been doing many transactions? They're probably trustworthy and not fake news. Lastly, if I feel like all of that is good to go, I'll send them a message with some questions and a request for a quote. Some questions could be, how much is shipping? How much will each unit cost? And can I have a sample? or at least can I see pictures of the pins before you ship them to me, etc. After messaging about 10 to 20 suppliers, I'll narrow down to one based on their trustworthiness, reviews, quote, and their answers to my questions. If Alibaba seems daunting, you can always go with the middleman. There's no fear in that. After you decide on your factory, it's time to communicate with them. If they're a good factory, this should be smooth sailing. First, after you give them your design, they should send you a quote and artwork. It's really important to review the artwork that they sent you and approve of it. This is really important because I kind of effed up here with my LGBT pins. I should have told them that this part here was supposed to be colored. My fault. So make sure that everything is perfect. Then you can pay the first half of the payment. When the pins are done in about one to two weeks, get pictures of the products and approve of them before paying the last half of the payment. Then the pins are shipped. So exciting! The serotonin is strong tonight, kids. 
Wait about five to six days, and you'll get them. Good luck with making your pins, if you make them. Go get that bread. Collect that baguette. I believe in your ability to finagle that bagel. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. Goodbye.